Okay, trying to go for a quick tutorial for um, PADI 4.3, the uh, alpha build on how to work with the iPad because I really need some testers. In the user guide you will see how to get the PADI presets on the iPad. This, this is using an app called TouchOSC and you basically load some layouts um, in this app and I'm gonna go first in the PADI TouchOSC layout this is a control layout which has um, in the quick edit a couple of buttons plus minus a couple of presets some other things in develop some sliders uh, as well as uh, uh, some presets some other buttons as you can see next picture here colors are the color sliders uh, HSL uh, black and white the black and white sliders tones everything in a tone curve highlights shadows Details and effects explains itself, and camera is the, um, the the camera adjustments plus some camera profiles and the process. That's where it is right now. This is a completely open interface. Anybody will be able to develop other interfaces into Patty. Um, I just need to get this out to figure out whether it, quite frankly, works. So, how does this work? Um, you start Patty. Uh, I'm going to go into do the develop model, module here for a second. After you started PADI, you will need to connect, and again, in the user guide, I described this a little bit better, um, but the, the iPad knows the PC's IP address on the network. Um, this is wireless, because I told it so, um, but PADI doesn't know the iPad's address. So I'm going to hit the connect button here in the lower left. PADI says the iPad reports at some IP address. Does the connect button blink? And the answer is it doesn't here in our case, which is interesting because it should. So we say no. Um, let's go move a slider. This is what Patty says is next. Okay, it identifies its temperature, which it is. Unfortunately, it didn't uh, write it out. I guess I'll get to fix that. And then we move the slider here. And the slider on the OSC didn't, uh, doesn't move. But now it connected. I saw the sliders move. So as you can witness here, there's a little bug. But that's all right. We'll just go. Um, we'll just go here and try it again. Hit the connect button. The connect button blinks. I'm not sure whether you can see it. It's fairly small. So I hit yes. And now we are connected. So what I'll be able to do here in, for instance, the develop module is I switch the pa the. Uh, oh, we're first sending some data here. I'll see that in a second. But I switch the sliders. Sliders and that Lightroom switch. Just, you know. Whichever one I pick, I have some um, small adjustments because these sliders are not necessarily the easiest one to switch, to tell you the truth. So um, there's some small adjustments here. And of course, if I move things in Lightroom, they also move on the iPad. It's a little bit there, but it's getting it's getting pretty good. I think I got the timing about right um, right now. Um, and of course, if I go over to, say, um, Colors, I move something in saturation, Patty opens the panel, and we move the saturation on the colors. Um, and the same is true, whatever, I moved over to the 2010 process or back to the 2012 process, stuff like this. So the basics work. Um, on this panel, it works in library and develop. Uh, you pick a slider and then you increase it. Um, and you can choose whether you have large increments, small increments, or medium increments for, um, in this case, the blacks. So, works really well. Um, that's the develop uh, layout as I have right now. There's a bunch of other things. You can see you can, you know, move around. You can undo, you can reject. A bunch of things that you can do. Um, play around with it. As I said, it's an open interface. Uh, everybody will be able to develop... Um, reset. Everybody will be able to develop uh, layouts for the iPad. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch over. What I'm actually really excited about for my personal use is the keywording layout. I go over to Patty keywording. Here you go. No, I hit the wrong button on the iPad, which happens all the time because there you go. Patty keywording. Now, I find this really cool right now. They might be a bit too small. I might change this, but there are seven tabs on the iPad with um 70 keywords each okay now this is clearly a bit of a dumb layout um so what we want to do is we want to make this a bit smarter all right so here is the same layout on patty so let's say my set one 
I want to have names. A little bug there for some reason. That shouldn't happen, but we'll fix it at some point. Names, there you go, and you can see it switched to names here. And say my second uh, thing, you can see I already put some stuff in. It's going to be activities. So don't get an error there. Activities, and you say it switched here. Um, and then say I want to have that. Uh, actually, I'm going to connect first. Does the connect button blink? Yes, it blinks. Yes. Sending data, sending keywords, and you can see my keywords vanish. The reason my keywords vanish is because nothing is assigned on this first tab, right? You can see all my keywords here are, are empty. So for keywording session, um, and obviously you have to do this only once, I go here uh, in, in people. This is a horribly horrible tree for keywords imported um, from Patty uh, just for testing purposes. But let's say I want to have I want to have, this was son number three, I want to have a couple of names. So the first one here is Eric, the second one here is going to be uh, so this takes a bit, I gotta fix it. Second one is Carl, I want to switch this that when you click an empty button the tree doesn't change, but again for the alpha version it is what it is to so test it out for you guys. Um, names. I'm going to go on family. Uh, wrong names here. You can see I, I'm playing around with this call. So you can get the you get the idea. You see the three names here. More exciting me. Let's make him red. Let's make him green. Let's make him blue. You can see the colors change. Very cool. Tabs change. Let's do swimming is blue. And this is whatever. Purple. I can pick anything here, by the way, of course. Uh, just to give an example, this here, my angry burns are pink. Um, there you go. All right. So I have uh, 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 different colors for the different uh, things, and I just noticed the colors. The blue on the iPad is really not coming through. I have to say, um, I don't know why. That's a touch OSC problem, but you can see. I'm gonna change to orange. It's pretty nice. All right. So go here. Um, go into library, pick a name, and I could go start tagging. Um, so you can imagine how this works. I'm going to make it easier to ins to input the keywords one way, shape, or form or another. Don't quite know yet. Input welcome. Uh, but you can very quickly here start swimming, waveboard, not quite true, barbecue, not quite true, but you can very quickly start keywording. Okay. Um, now all of you are going to ask, okay, what about presets? and so on. Can't we do the same? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to go switch over to the other um, layout. You can see the presets here just say presets. Well, that's fairly boring. Let's connect quickly. I have to connect again when I switch a new layout. That's not my issue. That's an issue with Touch OSC. But you can see we blank. Patty remembers the IP address. So in short sessions, it's just a very simple thing to do. Okay, and you can see the presets vanished. The reason the presets vanished is because we don't have any. So let's pick some. Uh, oh, where's it? We're still sending some things. You can see for presets, we have three columns. Okay, empty right now. Uh, the three columns are in this current setup in Quick Edit. Second column is in Develop. You can see the iPad switches when I switch here. And it's in black and white. So let's do for that first one. And again, I'm going to pick some stupid examples here, but let's say this is blue filter. Let's say we want to have the second one a green filter. And we want to have the third one an orange filter. Okay, now a couple of things happen. You see that this happened, that these names show up. Second, what I can do is I can make the blue filter blue. I can make the green filter green. I can make the orange filter. There it is, orange, okay? Third thing I can do is I can go here, edit the label, and just say, uh, you know, this is just blue. Blue. And now it's only blue. This is particularly helpful when you have some um, preset with a with a long name. I noticed in, 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 in you guys that people like to set long names. So let's pick something down here. Uh, say antique gray, grayscale. Well, that's a black and white one, so we come to that in a second. Um, you know, rounded corners black, well, it is too long. So I can go here, I can edit the label, and I just call it rounded corners. And you can see as I type, it changes on this, on the on the iPad, and um, since it's black, um, uh, I don't know, 
make it pink or something. So, uh, second one, as I, as I mentioned, is on the on the on the second tab here. Uh, just pick something. You can see I can pick anything wherever it is. And the third one is on black and white. Same for the camera profiles. I switch to the camera profiles. Pick a camera profile. Um, quite frankly, I picked so much room here because I can. It's not necessarily because I think everybody has um, 30 uh, different camera profiles, but you know, it, it was possible. And again, I'm looking forward to uh, feedback other than from son number three, who really likes it, apparently. Um, so there you go. So I go out and I hit, you know, here's, oops, yeah, of course, I can apply profiles only here, standard, faithful landscape I go to quick edit I hit green there's a green filter not that it's very useful on on this particular file um, well, since we're at it hit reset here is reset um, what, what did I do in develop uh, you know auto tone whatever so you get the idea play around with it do me a favor I'm going to post the alpha build hopefully this week uh, and you can uh, assign your iPad um, I'm gonna try to write the user guide while I'm traveling it's gonna it's a bit tricky but I really want to get this out. I really want you guys to. Uh, I really want you guys to uh, play and uh, test it out. Thank you very much from myself and the guy in this picture who is uh, now sitting on my lap.